Hello? Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Just wanted to know if you're still at home. I've been trying to reach Dad. His line hasn't been connecting. I just left home now. What is it? Nothing. Just wanted to know if you're still at home. Where are you presently? In school, of course. Where else do you expect me to be? Make sure you come home early this time. Okay? Um, I have a business meeting to attend and it's going to keep me late. Come back early and prepare dinner. But mom, I... There are no buts. No excuses this time. Bye. Mom. Yes, dear. Was that Abby? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Criminals will not go unpunished. Ah. I can't believe this. Ah. Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, we feel your pain. And we pray God to give you the fortitude to bear the painful loss. Please. Yes. To bear which loss? The God. So I'll be here with this again. Is that what you're telling me? Ha! Hey! Please take out. Huh? I want my son. Please come back to mommy. Elvis, mommy needs to raise my son. Take her. There is nothing we can do now. <laughs> Take her. Oh. <laughs> Please, 
dir, pull yourself together. Okay? Just believe that, okay? Okay. Mimi and it don't. You would not understand. Mina is right. Stop crying now, please. Yes? Who is there? Officer, that's the criminal. I Arrest him. I see. Ah. Mommy. I don't understand who is the criminal. What is going on? Police. I am Detective Mike from State Security Office. And this is my partner, Detective Vera. You are under arrest for robbery and murder. What is going on? What? No, I'm coughing. Please, can you explain no, to me? My mother is not at home. Eh? Mother, I'm easy, please. Please take him away. Mr. Man, are you ready to talk now? Where are your accomplices? Officer, I have no accomplices. I am innocent and have no idea of whatever I am being accused of. How can we find them? Officer, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. I see. You don't know what I'm talking about. For the last time, I will be asking, where are your accomplices? And I will no longer speak a word if I don't get a lawyer. You can only get a lawyer when you have given us the information we desire for our investigation. No, officer. I am entitled to a lawyer. It is my fundamental right. Okay. So you're stubborn, right? I see. I think you wouldn't be finding it easy. You got to take a second look at your game plan. Because what you got there is a joker. Susan. Have you been breaking the law while trying to enforce one? Where are your accomplices, Mr. Man? Man. I'm asking you for the last time, Mr. Man. Officer, 
Toby. Where are you going to in a hurry? My sister is my son, Toby. What about him? He was arrested yesterday by the police. Yes. I overheard Mama Joy saying something about police, but I didn't bother asking her what happened. It's my son. Oh. Okay, the, the fact remains that uh, I am rushing to the police station to know what he did. Whatever they say he did, when I come back, I'll let you people know. Oh. Let me rush. I'm rushing to the place. Oh. Mm. Accusing me of. I don't know why she's doing this. Why is Abby's mom doing this to you? I don't really know. I don't know. I am innocent. My son. Please. I know you very well. But please tell me. Did you do it? Mommy. I just want you to assure me that you did not do it. I am sure. I can never lie to you. I have never lied to you. My son. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Madam, madam. We don't do. Not beyond. I want to do this to our family. Can I sort it off? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Since you called your people, I don't do anything. Ah! Ah! Thief. 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 Who is that woman? The same question is on my mind. I don't know who she is. I know her. She's Toby's mom. Ah. I am not fine. I am not fine. What happened? 
Toby is innocent. My son is not a killer. I'm not fine. You people should leave my son alone, please. Mom, what is she talking about? Your son is not just a criminal. He's also a cold-blooded murderer. Hey! Talking about only sons. Your son shot and killed my only son. My son is not a criminal. He's neither a criminal or a killer. He can hey, never hey, kill hey, anybody. Hey, hold it there. Any day I see your legs around this premises, I will get you arrested and put you where you will never see the daylight for the rest of your life. My son has done nothing to you. Leave my son Let alone. Say. My son has done nothing to you. <laughs> my son is innocent. Leave my son alone. Leave my son alone. Leave my son alone. Mr. Toby, I am Barrister Mary. I've been assigned by the police to represent you in court. Now, before we start, I have sent your statements with the police, but I have some questions for you, so we can know how we can proceed from here. Are we good? I've seen the look before. Now, let me tell you the truth. I'm not too young to be a lawyer. So can we get down to business? What do you want to know? Good. You see, for me to do this job, I need you to trust me. So please trust me with the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Are you ready? But mom, this is unfair. This is so, so unfair. How come you never told anyone that you suspected Toby? Not to mention arresting him and charging him for robbery and murder. Why mom, why? Well, now you know, don't you? Now this is preposterous. Are you sure you're normal? No, are you normal? Are you okay? My son got killed. And you had a suspect in mind. You never deemed it fit to inform me. Hey, 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 hey. Hold it there. Whatever I choose to do about my son's death is none of your business. After all, you weren't there when it all happened. My 10 million naira was taken away from me at some point by that criminal. And my son was murdered in cold blood. Getting that criminal arrested is a good step to start with. But mom, such decisions are not for only you. Oh, will you shut your trap if I shut it for you? But she's telling you the truth. It's the truth she's saying here. You to take such a decision of this magnitude by yourself is wrong. You ought to have at least informed me or at least discussed it with me. This conversation is over. No, no. On the contrary, this conversation had just begun. 
because I don't believe for a second that Sobi has a hand in murder of Elvis. I don't. I said this conversation is over. I need to rest my head. There she goes again. By the time I prove myself right, I will tell you that Toby is a thief and a murderer. Mom? Mom! Dad, what is going on? Okay. It's okay. Just relax. Relax, huh? Eh? You stand accused for armed robbery and murder, punishable under the criminal laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty, my lord. Mr. Toby, where were you between the hours of 11 a.m. and 12 noon? I, I think I, I think I was. You think? You seem rather uncertain and blessed. Do I take it that you were not at home on that day? No, I, I was at home. Can she address to that and being your mom? Mm. Yes, of course. Meaning she was with you at home? No, she wasn't. Interesting. So, where was she? In her canteen, selling. And where is this canteen of ours located? University of Port Harcourt. Let me get something clear here. Your mom was in her canteen while you were at school, right? Exactly. Meaning you were the only one at school in that time, right? Yes. Can you specifically tell me what your mom was in in her shop at that time? Objection, my lord. Irrelevant. 
very relevant, my dog. Especially if you must authenticate his claim that his mother was aware of his presence at all. Overruled. The suspect should answer the question. Thank you, my lord. So, Mr. Toby, I ask again. What was your mom doing in her canteen at that time of the day? I was selling no. I was selling no. I was selling. Order. Well, I really cannot say for sure. But probably she could be attending to customers. She could be attending to customers. Is there any possibility that your mom could be doing something else in her shop or than attending to customers? Possibly, yes. Well, the bottom line is that you do not know what she was doing in her canteen. Yes. <sighs> Mr. Toby, look at me. Take a good look at me. Where do you see yourself in the next seven years? Um, well, I I think. Let me tell you where I see you. I see you in jail. Was it to be hung by the neck? To the neck until your last breath. Objection, my lord. This is business. It's a creative and inflammatory assumption. Sustained. Thank you very much, my lord. That will be all for now. My lord, I would like to... Then she has... She has... She has... She has... She has... She has... She Walking on the sinking sand 
walking under sinking sand. I'm walking under sinking sand. Is it a crime to be poor? Is it a crime to be a nobody? But nobody's a nobody. Everybody can be somebody. You better be wise now. Walking on the sinking sand Walking on the sinking sand What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Have you ever, ever been like Lied against to be accused of a crime you know nothing about. This is just a sinking sand, walking under sinking sand. This is just a sinking sand. What am I gonna do? Helen, <laughs> can you eat without your son? Helen, where is Toby to eat with? Can you eat alone? Helen, have you been eating alone? Ah, Toby. Toby, my son. Toby, my son, come and eat with your mother. <laughs> Come and eat with your mother. Where is my son? Where is my son? Hey. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, my angel. How are you? I'm fine. Hmm. You sure you're fine? Now tell me, what's the problem? What's the matter? Nothing. Hey, 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 hey. You can't tell me nothing. You're still on bed. You're not ready for school. Huh? It's already 7.30. You ought to be prepared for school by now. Or are you not going for lectures today? Dad, I'm having a free period. I will make up the notes later. I can imagine what you're going through. Okay? I can imagine what you're going through. But you don't have to allow this to weigh you down. You shouldn't, my daughter. Eh? Oh, Dad. Hmm? Do you think he did it? To you? I don't know. I, I can't really say. You will just have to wait and see how it pans out, the trial. Don't lawyers have their way of twisting the truth? Well, but I'm sure that he will be well defended. 
Yeah. Dad, I don't believe he did it. I don't. <sighs> I have told you to just take it easy, yeah? Be calm. Let's see how things pan out. Okay? Yeah? Let's see how the trial will go. Mm? Okay? Mm? Okay. Take it easy, yeah? Ah. <sighs> What is this news we are hearing about Toby's arrest? Uh, actually, we have heard it from uh, uh, Fidelis. have told us everything, but we just want to hear from the horse's mouth. My brothers, the fact remains that my son Toby is innocent. Toby, my son, is not a criminal and can never ever be a criminal. Toby is not a killer. He's not a criminal. He's not a killer and can never kill anyone. Brother, my son is languishing in the cell for a crime he knows nothing about. He's suffering. Uh, experiences uh, have shown that one cannot really swear for anyone. Brother, I can swear for my son today, tomorrow. Any minute of my life, I will swear for my son. He's not a criminal and can never be. He has never hurt a fly. Um, we have had all this. Certainly, I believe what. So, my elders, thank God you all have had Then, where do we go from here? Good day, my others. How may I help you? We are here to see you, Oga. Do you have an appointment with him? Uh, no, but it is important to speak with him. I'm sorry, I can't help. I can't let you. You can call him. Okay, me. But please, we don't have his number. I can't let you. Uh, please, and please, my son. Kindly lead us to him. For what we came to discuss with him is a matter of life and death. Life and death? Yes. yes. Sorry for the unfortunate incident that led to the death of your son. My only son. Yes, please accept our condolences. What condolences are you talking about? Why are you here? Eh? But allow them to talk. Eh, eh, eh. Match your break there. They should say why they are here and leave my house. Uh, please. We are here to plead with you on behalf of Toby, who is suffering in the prison. For the crime, we believe that he did not commit. Please. Oh, he did not commit. But what makes you feel that Toby is innocent of the crime? Yes, we believe that Toby is innocent of the crime he is accused. He's a very responsible young man who knows what he 
once and how to get it without cutting corners. Tell that to the judge. To the best of my own knowledge, Toby is a criminal and I promise, I promise you, he will never escape the long arm of justice. My wife, just be calm. No, no. Um, please, gentlemen, pardon my wife. You know, times like this, emotions are very deep. But the matter that has brought you here is already before a competent court of justice. There's nothing she and I can do. We cannot say today that Toby is free. We cannot. I'm sure he has a lawyer. The lawyer will come and defend him. And of course we have a judge. The judge will look at the merits of the arguments. And in the process, she will pass a judgment. I, I, I'd rather think that you just allow the court to take its course and do what they ought to do. So, um, um, with, with um, due respect. With all due respect for these things that God knows where they came up from. Leave my house. Please, leave. Leave my house! But they are our visitors. Then you should have treated them with some level of respect. They don't deserve it. inform you all that the judge will not be on seat today due to circumstances beyond her control. On this note, the sitting of today is hereby adjourned to further notice. Castle, please come forward for the adjourned date. Even if you have to lie to be free Justice. Still don't wanna stand for defeat Oh no Justice You got to survive So you got to fight like a soldier Justice Fight like a warrior Oh no 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 Justice You don't wanna lose this fight You don't wanna go down here Justice Barrister Mary, if you ask me, I will honorably tell you that this case will not end in your favor, my learned colleague. Barrister Alex, let us fold our hands and watch how the story goes. You see, when you prove to the court beyond reasonable doubt that my client committed the crime, then I will take him to your belief that this case will not go well. Do you really want to go into this for me? I beg your pardon. I am Barrister Alex. I know the law. I eat and speak the law. As far as I am concerned, you have no case. And there are no chances of you winning. Barrister Alex, a well-trained lawyer like yourself 
should know that it is too early to boast as a winner in a case that the trial only just began. Now, I suggest you hold your peace because <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. Have a nice day. Any other noise? Have I made myself clear? Now I. Officer, 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 but for the purpose of clarity and for the sake of this very trial. Can you tell us what happened on the 15th day of May? Before I left my house, I made a phone call at the balcony. The 10 million naira. It's not for any other thing, you know. It's for my workers at the, at the site. Yes. Let nothing happen to my money. Because I won't take it lightly with you. If anything happens to that money, yes. I am coming with 10 million naira cash. Yes. No, 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 I'm not going to do anything in the bank. I have the cash with me. Before 2 p.m., I'll be there. Just get the workers ready. Yes. It's just for their payment. Thank you. Um, yes. <laughs> All right, dear. <laughs> See you. Bye. Good day, man. What are you doing here? No, I, I came to check on it. Would you leave my compound this minute? I didn't really take the fact that he overheard my conversation seriously. Not until I was attacked on my way to deliver the money. Was he alone during the operation? No, he wasn't alone. He was with some other guys. I can't really figure out how many there were. 
Can you identify any of this men? No, I can't. And, um... You're very sure you haven't met them before? I don't know them. But you're very sure that Toby here is one of the corporates? Yes, I am very sure. However, you said he told you he was looking for Abby as at the time you noticed his presence. Certainly, yes. Who is this Abby? Abby is my daughter. Was she at home as at that time? No, he wa um, she was in school. She's in University of Port Harcourt. So, even the person he claimed he was looking for wasn't even at home? So, afterwards, what happened? I actually inquired about him on my way out, and I was told he had already left. My lord, I would like to seek your leave to vacate Mrs. Patricia Thompson from the witness box. Why I invite Miss Abbey Thompson. Permission granted. Mrs. Thompson, you may step. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me. Thank you very much, my love. Miss Abbe Thompson, the accused here claimed he was looking for you on the very day that the robbery that claimed the life of your only brother occurred. Did you ask the accused? to come look for you when you knew that you were not going to be at home? No. So, you were not aware of his coming? No. So, do you get any text message, perhaps a phone call, as regards to his coming that day or after? No. Is he always in his habit to come look for you without permission? That I can't remember. <sighs> My lord, that will be all for now. I will take a recess and uh, become a Looking for survival, for the right and for the wrong reason. Them criminals are seeking acquittal, but the innocent is fighting for survival. You have to prove your case to be free, even if you have to. Mrs. Patricia Thompson, this is the statement you made to the police, and in here you you stated that you were attacked by masked gunmen, of whom my client is a suspect. My question is, if these men were masked. How could you tell my client was one of them? Would you leave my compound this minute? There's nobody in this house! 
I saw the wristband on the hand of the gunman that killed my son. So, because you saw an exact shirt and wristband, is that enough reason to call my client the killer of your son? Yes. You believe, right? Now, may I remind you that the court of law has no bearings on beliefs, but of facts. Now, let's talk about facts. Are you telling this noble court that you're certain my client was one of your assailants? I am certain Toby was one of them. He was the one that killed my son. Um, if I'm right, you're not only an architect by profession, but also a visual artist, correct? Very relevant, my lord. My lord, it is very relevant to my next line of questions. Yes. Mrs. Thompson, you have two degrees, one in visual arts and the other in architectural designs, right? Yes, my lord. Defense counsel, you may continue. Thank you, my lord. Mrs. Thompson, I've seen your paintings and they are awesome. I must say, I'm a huge fan. Thank you very much. Now, going back to your statement with the police, you stated that um, you were attacked by masked gunmen. So, to enable the police apprehend this culprit, please, can you help us? Please. Take this pen and paper and sketch precisely the faces of the mass culprit. I want to put it to you that this trial is not just for trial's sake. This trial is to ascertain if my client is culpable of the crime you accused him of. Now, my lord, Mrs. Patricia Thompson just told this honorable court that one of the masked suspects is my client. Won't you agree that if she can see behind the mask, then she can describe the faces of other culprits? I think I find some... some merits in the argument of the defense counsel. You may proceed. Please, the sketch. I... I... I don't think I can. You don't think you can, or you don't know the suspects behind the mask? I was only being suspicious because he was there when I made the call. I saw him around when I was making the call in my house. And the same clothes he wore that very day was exactly what the gunman that shot my son wore. Even my driver was around the premises. He is my witness. One more question. Mrs. Patricia Thompson. Are you a vindictive person? Objection, my lord. Uh, very relevant and inflammatory. Objection overruled. Thank you, my lord. Mrs. Patricia Thompson, let me put it this way. Are you a faithful wife to your husband, Mr. Thompson? I decline to answer that. Do you know what I see when I look at you? I don't know and I don't. Oh, I assure you that you would like to know when I prove to this court how morally bankrupt you are. Objection, my lord. Objection sustained. My lord, that would be all for now. My lord, my learned colleague here is trying to assassinate the character of my client, which has got nothing to do with the trial's hand. We are talking about a criminal case here. Walking on the sinking sand, walking on the sinking sand. I'm walking on the sinking sand. Dad, you'll be moody. Have I? Yes. Hmm. And I know it's about mom's invention of the fidelity question posed by defense counsel. <sighs> really? All right, tell me. My question is, what does such question has to do with criminal charge? Oh well, you know, lawyers have their ways. 
something somehow. You saw what the lawyers did with the information they had regarding your mother's skills in visual arts. Didn't you see it? Oh. In a sense, you are, you are suggesting that mom could be cheating on you. Well, well, I am not Come suggesting that. Come off it, dad. You and I know that mom is capable of so many things. But I don't think cheating on you is one of it. I don't think so. Well, well, uh, what do I have to say? I, 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 all I can tell you now is that I'm, I'm observing. That's what I'm doing. I'm observing. <clears throat> Just have to cheer up, okay? Okay. Well. Cheer up. Toby. Someone is here to check on you. I don't know. Are you set to go or not? Ready. Back in court earlier today, your lawyer made mention of something that got my attention. Let me guess. The question on your infidelity, which you couldn't respond to. I do not know what you've disclosed to your lawyer, but I am here to warn you. You better withdraw anything you feel you must have told her if you want this case to end well for you. Scared that your secrets will come to light, right? I am not scared. I only have a reputation to protect. Like I don't have anything to lose for being locked up here for a crime I know nothing about. Well, you brought to me at some point and killed my only son. I, I, I am sure it was you. Really? Yes. Are you saying this is not some sort of witch hunt? I said I have a reputation to protect. You better put a stop to whatever surprise you're planning to spin. Then I will make sure the charges against you is dropped. Uh, this is very touching. So now you prefer your reputation over the justice of the mother of your son? Oh, what a reputable mother. Well, we don't have a deal. <laughs> I know we will before the next trial, but if we don't, <laughs> I will not be held responsible for whatever follows. Is that a threat? This conversation is over. Thank you, Mr. Toby Ojuku. Have you ever, ever been lied again? Lied against Do you even understand how it feels To be lied against To be accused of a crime you know nothing about This is just a thing Oh, who, who is that woman I keep to see? <laughs> the woman I told you people about. Patricia. Yes. What, 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 what does she want? She wants to make a deal with me. A deal? So what kind of thing is that? She's scared. She's scared that her secrets will come to light.
up to John and his got the place. Cause every time I try to rise above this water, it feels like I'm sinking, sinking in the sinking sand. Walking on the sinking sand, walking on the sinking sand, I'm walking on the sinking sand, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do, have you ever ever been lied again? Lied against Dad Do you Dad. even understand how it feels? Sorry, I actually dozed off. Oh, Dad, look at the time. It's already 12.50 a.m. You should be in bed, not down here. Yeah, it's true. I was waiting to see if your mom will return. My mom? Yes. She's not yet back. She's not. What is keeping her? I don't know. Okay, just, just get up, okay? case might be it's time to go to bed. Okay? Yes, you're right. As my angel denies, I will do that, okay? Sharing with me. 
Oh. I can handle it. That sounds like a lot very sure. Sure, yeah, I could be of help. You can't. Just try me. Don't worry, I'll be fine. How about giving you another hot round like never before? I'm sure that will help ease your stress. Barista Mary of for Lago. Barista Alex. I was told you're looking for me. Can we go in now? No. So, to what do I owe this impromptu visit? You see, I came here just because of the respect I have for you as a colleague. But I'm hoping this never happens again. What is it? Caution your clients. Sit hard down and have her cautioned. What do you mean? I want to put you in the know that your client visited mine two days ago. Such clandestine visits should not happen anymore. If not, I'm going to have your clients as on a cooker. You know what that means? Seriously? Is that it? Caution her. Caution her, because I will not meet you for this again. Your client's visit to mine is suicidal. And if she tries any further silly moves, I'm going to put her behind bars. You can't do that. You can't do that! Barrister Alex, this is not a threat, but a promise. Now have a nice day. And when were you even called to bar? I got a warning from Barrister Mary earlier today, asking me to caution you from making any further clandestine move towards a client. What did you do? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. And what does that mean? It simply means nothing. With due respect, ma'am, we are in the middle of a trial. I will not want my own client to jeopardize my effort whereby making all that... I only tried to help your cause. The details of which I need to know. Let it go. What is done is done. I would advise that you stand down on any further move capable of clutching our wheels to progress. Like she said, any further silly move will be suicidal. If this is the reason you asked me to see you, this conversation is over. Madam. You all may think, I think that uh, it was a crime that I committed as well. No, I didn't commit anything. It was my good heart. Your good heart? Yes. How? One night, while returning from work, I saw a girl at the roadside. I decided to offer her help.
try calling my fiance and everybody I could reach. All to no avail. Finally, the beer gave up. Next morning, I dressed up to rush her to the hospital, but unknown to me that she was already dead. Hello? Hello? Inspector Kabiru from State CID. The young man here is my colleague. Um, officers, thank God you are here right now. Please, I have a problem like that. The lady I helped last night, I don't really know what happened to her. Mr. Jeffrey, you are under arrest for the murder of Miss Linda and you have the right to remain silent because whatever you say or do will be used against you in the law court. Officer, I think there is a miss up here. For God's sake, I do not know this girl. I have not set my eyes on her before. Just that I saw her on the roadside, lying, I decided to offer her help. Officer, is that a crime I have committed? This girl lying here has been kidnapped for two days now. Jesus! And the police has been in search of her. This is a handbag. We saw it alongside of the road. Officer. And also this wallet.
Yes. You kidnapped her. And you asked of ransom. When the money was not paid, you killed her. Officer. Only God knows why you brought her to your house. Officer, for God's sake. And, uh, like I told you, I do not know this. Officer, I don't have the idea of what you're talking about, for God's sake. Cooperate with the police. Can we get to the station? Fine. Move it. Move it. Move it. And that was how I found myself in this place. Pathetic indeed. Very pathetic. Mine was a different ball game. A different story. You know, you sound educated. Which begs the question, what brought you here? I came in here with Jaja Stanley. I bonded with them and they built like brothers to me. And you bonding with them led to the mess that brought you guys here? Yeah. It was a deal done wrong. Really? What exactly went wrong? It is a story. Another day. I told you guys that I will afford my own part of the story. Someday. When the coin gets tough, it is only the tough that can keep going. I was in level 200 in the university when I lost my father. And my mother broke down because of the that means of my father. I was unable to pay my school fees. And other sundry expenses. Then I withdrew from the school. And my mother died subsequently. As the first son in the family, with five siblings to cater for, I found myself in a tight corner where yeah, I met these guys. That their own condition and mine seems to be similar, if not tough. I bonded with them. Since then, we became a brother's keeper. Then, then what happened? So things became worse. That we could barely feed. Now cater for our respective families with our many jobs. We had no other option than to join kidnapping to see if we can make it from there. The little money in our hands. We consulted a witch doctor. That gave us a handkerchief which we use in kidnapping. I had a master key 
which I used to operate.
advise you to conserve your energy because the more you shout keep quiet the more you make noise the more you get tired please sleep please please let us shut up so they all gave me their parents contact and I could come to them However, we were unlucky to have kidnapped two siblings whose father happens to be a top officer in the police force. The man responded to my demand 
unknown to us that the man had perfected his plans to map us. No. Now, <laughs> hey, 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 Where is your phone? Phone! Look at my 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 phone! Okay, okay, now listen. You guys are heartless. <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> now keep quiet. <laughs> now, you are going to indicate your phones. One of the other. Open! Now, where is your phone? <laughs> where is your own phone? I will let you down. Which one? Don't touch. 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 No noise. Call, call, that's the number. Call, suck out the number and call. Send the number. What again, my life? Honey, 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 I'm I'm big. Hello, 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 hello. Hello? hello? Yes, yes. I want to specially inform you that your wife has been kidnapped. Yeah, she's under my custody. And I speak with you here. Yeah. Um, the bill, the charge for the bill is two million naira. But listen, if you want to make everything better, I want to save her. I wouldn't like you to involve police. If you involve the police in this matter. I will slaughter and butcher them. <laughs> so the earlier you make it be, uh, faster, the earlier I release them. So make it faster because I don't have time to wait. Thank you. And that is all. Thank you for now. Now, hold this phone. Where is your own phone? Where is your own phone? Why not your phone? Fast! Come on! You have a password. I don't know if you get my password. Fast, 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 fast. Enter the password. <laughs> what to call who? Your parents? Your mother? Your father? You don't have a mother. You don't have mother, you don't have father. Yes. Who do you want to call? My friend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fast. Fast, fast, fast. fast. <laughs> Shop! My friend, don't have money. Come on. No parents, no mother, no father, no uncle, no auntie, friend, don't have money, no money. You fool, you stupid boy. We can't conduct Trust me, I'll not tell you Which of them? Have a fast one? Yeah, 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 look! <laughs> so, how were you guys captured? I demanded that the ransom be dropped off in Boston because the road is usually busy. 
I thought I could exploit the rowdiness of the location and dash out immediately. Unknown to me that eyes were targeting me. Touch this boy hand for me. Touch your hand. <laughs> this one, Abi. Yeah, touch her. This one. This one, this one. This one. Why do you know? <laughs> now, see, Sinoman don't show. Come on, baby. Sinoman! I'm going to tell you what is going to happen now. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. Hey! Enough for me. How much? For me. For me. For me, that. For me, that. For me, that. SS Fanchi. SS Fanchi. Enough for you. Enough for you. Wait, boy. Wait, boy. Wait, boy. Wait, boy. Stupid boy! Nonsense boy! Maybe you tell me say you don't get mother? Yes. You don't get father? Yes. No uncle? No sister? Yes. You're a foolish boy! You're a nonsense boy! Fool! Idiot! Foolish boy! Shut up! I'm sorry. Your father, your father just complied with this four million for both of you. I lied. You lied? Yes. Bro, this boy na bingo. This boy na better bingo. And you too. Is your brother right? And you told me you don't have mother, no father. You lie with him. Your father just complied with four million for both of you, and you said you. I got conductor, please can I have one time test? Shut up! I told you earlier! That no water here, no food here, and you'll be needing them. Now I want to drink water. No water, I'll soon give you my piece to drink. And let me warn you. If your father refuses to comply from now till tomorrow, I'll slaughter you and I'll sell your pass. Police! Drop your weapon! The entire unit has been surrounded by police. The only way you can get out of your life is to drop your weapons. Yes. Come on, the matter serious, oh. Yes. Now let me see you dropping them with your hands on your head. We care driver. Yes. We care conductor. You go die for jail. We care driver. Yes. Yes. If I continue to tell this story, it will keep me moody all day. So to cut it short, that was how we landed here. Oh, you guys are lucky. 
I mean, you should thank your stars. You could have been killed. That was a hell of a risk you guys took there. I'm telling you. That means you guys' case are so complicated. Complicated indeed. Our going out here lies in the hand of Almighty. We do understand how you feel, but you keep skipping lectures. It's not the best thing for you to do now, okay? Yes, dear. The semester exam is already around the corner. If you must do well, then missing lectures is not and can never be an option. Yes, yes. I know. I know that already. Just that I don't know how to deal with what I'm going through right now. My only brother was killed, and Toby of all people is under detention as the number one suspect. Thinking about this will drain you psychologically. I am drained already. My emotion is shattered. No, no Abdi, you are taking this thing too far. We feel your pains. Yes. But please, take it easy on yourself, please. We do understand. Your attendance, it's really bad. And that is not a good way for you to end your semester, Abigail. You need to sit up. Okay, I let's will. continue with her reading, okay? Okay. Where do you go from here? This matter requires urgent attention. What do we do? Honestly, my brother, I don't know. I don't know what to do. All I know is that my son is right there in the prison, languishing. For our crime, he knows nothing about. For our crime, he knows nothing about. I brought my son up where my son can never be a killer. He can never, ever be a killer. He's not. I know, you need not to remind me. Since your husband died, we stood in as his father. We brought him up well. Thank you. I've tried, I've tried my best. I've tried making them see reasons with me that my son is not a criminal, but to no avail. It's okay. Elia, we have to look for a way to get Toby out of that place. How? Oh. Well, tell me how. You've always been there with me at the court. Yes. Yes. How? How? Tell me how. I've tried to make them understand my son is not a criminal, but I don't know. Tell me the way out. How? They're trying to kill my son. I have no other option, no way again, and you're telling me. How? Tell me. It does any tell me, my brother. Does it look like I have hope? Hey! Hey! Toby, Toby, Toby. <laughs> Who is uh, Geoffrey Martin? Geoffrey? Sir? Someone is here to see you, a lady. Who is she? Are you stupid? 
I said, someone is here to see you. You are asking me cross question, who is she? Are you mad? I heard what happened to you. You have only 15 minutes to speak. Nothing more. 15 minutes. So, be fast about it. I heard what happened to you. I'm so sorry. That would not much than anything they can make my heart. Look at what they've done to you. Sonia, it's okay. Just that I have not set my eyes on that girl before. It was except that very night. I saw her on the wayside. And I decided to help her. This is what my good has brought to me. When I heard it, I know you are innocent. And I know you can never hurt a fly. So we need to bring. So how is your lawyer handling this case? He's trying his best. Jeff, his best. Yes. Best is not enough. We need to bring another lawyer to this case. Uh, Sonia, another lawyer. Don't you think that will start the matter fresh again? Moreover, I don't have money for another lawyer. Money is not a problem. I will make sure I get you away from this place. You don't belong here. I will spend the last kobo in my account to get you away from this place. Sonia, please, please help me do whatever you can do to get me out of this place. I'm dying here for a crime that I did not commit, for what I did not do. Yes, you don't look here. I, I know you can do something. Please do help me to your possible best to get me out of this place. Soya, I love you. to get me another lawyer so I can get out of this place. Another lawyer? Another lawyer. Of course, another lawyer. Who is going to put the bill? She'll be. I mean, this person, her family is very rich. They are all abroad. I mean, when that thing that she's back. So, now you say you will soon go lawyer. That is my prayer, my brother. Let go of you. Uh, good day, sir. Yes, good day. I know why you're here. Like I said before, 
why not allow justice to take its course? Huh? Uh, please, my brother. You are a man like me. Let us put our social status apart and look into this matter properly. Please. Toby is like a son to me. And knowing what children are capable of doing is one good attribute of a good father. father it... Yes, I agree with you. But unmasking the killers of my son is also an attribute of me, the father. Sir, sir, Toby, my son, is innocent. Oh. Yes, sir. Then, let the court establish that. I am not a judge, neither am I prosecuting cancer. I cannot pass judgment on whether Toby is guilty or not guilty. It's the court that will do that. So I would advise that you allow justice to take its turn. And then, we'll know what to do after then. Coming to my house to plead will not help the matter. It will not. So it's better for you to just stay and see how things will turn out, okay? How are you today? I'm not fine, but I'm good now that you're here. I've missed you. I missed you too. You prepared this? No. Mom specially prepared it for you. That's nice. Please send my heartfelt regards to her. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you. I appreciate this. How is your dad doing today? Dad has been very moody ever since the last trial. That's why I'm here. What? What? What's going on? Toby. Do you have any idea why your lawyer asks if my mom has been faithful to my dad? Oh, you do. You know, right? Please tell me. What do you know? Look, I can't reveal anything to you now. Oh, really? It's, it's complicated. I, I probably might tell you uh, when the trial is over. Please. I'm sorry. It's between me and my lawyer for now. And you knew about it. You never deem it necessary to confide in me. Maybe I have not said anything and I am not having this discussion with you. Oh, really? Look, I will tell you when everything is over. Okay? Not now. Would you have even disclosed this to me if the issue hadn't come up in court? You know what? Never mind. You can keep your secret to yourself, okay?
Good morning. And where are you coming from? I asked you a question. Where are you coming from? Was that question really for me? I asked you a question. I don't expect you to counter my question. Like you woke up from the wrong side of your bed. As you can see, I came into my house to rest and not to be interrogated. Excuse me. Now listen. If you want to remain in this house, I don't want you to be going out and coming at your own wish. Are you high? No, no, tell me. Are you high? You're welcome once again, madam. Thank so, how can I help you? I am here in regards to the trial of my son's murderer. Oh, okay. I want that gold digger to be hanged for snuffing out the life of my only son. Well, justice must surely prevail. As long as um, the prosecution team proves their case beyond every reasonable doubt. That's exactly why I'm here. I know how technical the justice system can be. That idiot must be sent to the gallows. I don't care what it will cost me. Name your price. I beg your pardon. What makes you think I can be bribed? I don't consider it bribery. I consider it a gesture of appreciation of a just cause. You're not just a fellow woman. You're also a mother. And I, you know how it feels, not just to lose a child, but an only son. That's, that's Toby. That criminal Toby must pay dearly for this. He must pay dearly for it. Mrs. Patricia Thompson. If you truly believe that the accused is as guilty as charged, then let justice take its course. My Lord, justice. I know justice, justice delayed is justice rich. denied. Justice for the I can't wait for that boy to be jailed for, for life. For like I said, this is a blank Don't check. I can part with eight figures. Just name your price and I will pay immediately.
sorry, that's not the right formula. Uh, what? How do you mean? Um, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to be rude. Will you permit me to join you? Okay, just permit me with this. Are you please and uh, was a discipline I'm sorry I am not officially yet a student how I don't understand you I wrote the just concluded UME examination so I'm waiting for the result to ascertain where I'll be headed from you're kidding me right no I'm not I'm serious I'm not that naive okay just tell me your department and level Sincerely, I am not yet a student. Uh, though my mom had um, run a canteen just right after the law faculty. And I do help her there. I only came out here to see someone. Unbelievable. You are not a university student, but you just helped me solve an advanced engineering maths. That's an ordinary maths in question. How come? Let's say I am good at numbers. Um, so, um, I have lectures to attend right now and I would like to, I don't know what your schedule may look like, I would like to see you some other time. Let me know how you were able to acquire such proficiency in numbers. Okay, when you're free, call me. If I'm not tied up, I'll see you. No. Take my number. You call me. Where's your cell phone? Okay. My name is Abigail, but you can call me Abby. Oh, okay, Abigail. I'm Toby. Toby, nice meeting you. <laughs> My pleasure. Yeah, where are you? So was crab, okay. Very 
Thank you, my friend. Baby, what's up? Hey, I'm Toby. Yes. You are supposed to call. I never promised I was going to call. Hmm. I see. Do you live around the school campus? Why do you ask? Nothing. Just want to know you more better. I told you my name and that should be enough. Look, if you don't mind, I'm rushing to do something very important. So I will see you later. Excuse me. That's repugnantly arrogant of you. See, do you have a problem with that? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just messing with you. I do like to know how proficient you are in mathematics. Very proficient. Very well then, I'll be offering you a job as my personal tutor. Your work day should be Tuesdays, Thursdays and weekend. For the weekdays, we meet her in school and for the weekend, we will meet at my place. Name your prize. <laughs> My prize? How much can you pay? Just name your prize. 
Okay, I will think about it and give you a call. What is that to think about? I will give you a call, just like I said. Hmm? Okay? Perhaps. <laughs> you are not even good. I am good. You are not. Trust me. Mommy. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very tired. <laughs> Sorry. This, this this cooking thing is very stressful. I know. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm helping out. No. No, mommy. Mm -hmm. From next week, eh? Mm -hmm. Somebody made me an offer to be her private tutor. She's a student in this school. Tutor? Mm. My son, I know you as a very intelligent boy. Well, you've not entered the university. How come you want to be a tutor to someone that is in this school? Mommy, I can do it. I don't want trouble, love. There will be no trouble. I can do it. Ah, trust me. You can do it? Mm -hmm. Can't you trust your son? Okay, well, if you can do it. Go ahead, no problem. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello. Who am I speaking with? Good afternoon. Uh, I am Toby. You made me an offer to be your private tutor. Oh. Toby, how are you? I am good. And you? I'm fine. So? I will take the offer. Okay then. So what's your price? Um... Yes, my prize. 50k. Ah, yes, but but I will get my money on or before 27th of every month. Next weekend is this weekend is on the 21st. So I will take the remaining days at probation period. Is that fair enough? Yeah, it's okay. 
Okay, so you send me address of where to meet you tomorrow. You see, your client is crossing boundaries. She's making moves capable of destroying her. State your point, young lady. <laughs> she came to my office earlier on, offering me fortunes because she wants me to withdraw my case and have my client jailed. Do you have any evidence to that effect? <laughs> oh, I have formidable evidence. To nail her if I so wish. But I'm not going to do that because we are all in this together. I don't want to disgrace you in court. <laughs> ah. Barista Mary of for Lago. Do you know why I like you? You are full of empty threats. <laughs> However formidable you think your evidences are, they are not enough to nail my clients. Not when I still have my wig and my gown. <laughs> 